that's who I am? <laughs> And you're like, oh, all right, I'll take it. Jennifer Coolidge loves a good impression. Who would have thought? <laughs> the actress paid a visit to The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and couldn't help but gush over these iconic impersonations of herself. Oh, I'm gonna make you a pie, dumbass. <laughs> God, you look like the 4th of July. Taking the dog, dumbass. <laughs> Come on! No. Ariana Grande, crushing. It's a great Wait, impression. No. Yep, that's SNL's Chloe Fineman and Ariana Grande's spot on imitation of Jennifer's legally blonde character, Paulette. I'm taking the dog, dumbass. And while Jen praised the impromptu impersonations, she also credits Ari for helping revive her career. I don't know, I had sort of, you know, I was going through a dead zone, and um, you know, sort of, you know, not much was going on. And then Ariana did this imitation on your show, and um, you encouraged her. Yeah. And um, and then this ball got rolling. Inspired by Ari's affection for her work, the Legally Blonde star reached out to the singer on Instagram. And then next thing you know, I was like going to her house, getting fit for a wardrobe fitting for, for a thank you next. So yeah. that was all because of Jimmy Fallon and, you know, yes. Well, I've only gone out with one guy that had a big front tooth and I liked it because it, he never got anything stuck in the front teeth. The thank you next music video gave us more of the legendary Paulette and hopefully 2022 will bring us something that we want real bad. Legally Blonde 3, we know it's in the works. Have you seen a sneak peek of Mindy Kaling's script? I know it is under lock and key. Mindy's working hard on it. I know she is. And she's she and I just love each other. We have a great laugh just thinking about what would Elle Woods be doing right now. This is going to be just like senior year, except for funner. I haven't heard anything. I mean, I hear, you know, every week I get, like, a little text or something going, like, it's happening or whatever. Like, and then, uh... And then, and then I don't hear anything again. Reese has a lot going on, but um, yeah, I hope she, yeah, I hope it happens. Well, it's happening, and it seems like we're gonna get a lot more moments like this. Bend and snap. Okay, um, yeah, a little less bend, a little more snap. Visiting characters 20 years later to see what's changed about them and what hasn't, it's a lot of me and this lady. That's all I have to say. Legally Blonde aside, Jen is also staying busy with other gigs. She just snagged a nomination at the 2022 SAG Awards for her role in HBO's The White Lotus. Are you Ms. McQuad? Quad. One syllable. McQuad. Well, two syllables. But the second part is one syllable. And a season two is officially in the works. But the question on everyone's minds? All the fans are like, is Jennifer Coolidge coming back? Only time will tell, but Jennifer, she's all in. They haven't told me what the script is written, but I, I hope I have lots of uh, romance and sex in this next one. You know, I, I felt like I didn't get enough of that in the first one. As one of the most talked about series of 2021, The White Lotus even has the actress in awe over its success. It didn't matter where I was this year. I mean, it didn't matter that I had a mask on. I could be in a motorboat up in Maine, like going by another speedboat, and someone would be like, "Why load?" I mean, it was it was weird. Like everyone saw it. Everyone saw that thing, and um, so that's pretty exciting. Like it didn't matter. You know, I mean, I felt like um, that's the most popular thing I think I've ever done, where people just came out of the woodwork, you know, and and uh, like yeah, everyone saw, saw that that show. It's so exciting.